August Walker, and I love Backyard Adobe. Hi, my name is August Walker, and today I'm here with Bart Slay in his Backyard Adobe in Cave Creek, Arizona. Now, Bart Slay, what made you build this building? Well, before I retired, I was thinking about moving down to Arizona, and I heard that Arizona was about 90% adobe at one time. So I thought it'd be interesting to get involved with that building material. This is quite the undertaking. How long did it take you to build this adobe? Well, we started out in June. We, we laid the footings for the adobe, and we finally moved into it in October. Wow. So you do the, you do the math. What's the history of the adobe? Well, you see, in Arizona, there's very few trees, so you had to build with what you had. And adobe is made of mud and straw and some kind of a binding agent, if you can find it. Horse manure works pretty well. Horse manure? Well, sometimes we'd use mule manure or cattle manure or whatever is available. Well, as a result, a lot of Arizona got built up in adobe. It was inexpensive, it was available, and people learned how to use it. Adobe's been used for over 5,000 years by people. It just was adapted here to Arizona. This building was very authentic. Was it from the Old West? Well, this is what they would use, something like this. This cabin is 16 by 20 feet, and that would be big enough to handle a family of maybe six or seven people. I know this cross is in the window. What is that for? Well, some people might think it's for religious purposes, but actually those are gun ports. You can move your gun side by side, you can move your gun up or down. And if you had somebody, if you had some kind of an attack from hostiles or from, from outlaws, you could defend this. Defend it? Couldn't bullets just go right through Adobe? Well, you've got to understand that Adobe is about 16 inches thick. It's enough to stop a bullet for sure. This porch we're under. What is it made of? Well, this porch is actually in Spanish referred to as ramada. It provides shade and it also allows air to flow through it. We used ocotillo as our building material because ocotillo is naturally grown here in Arizona. This looks like a western movie set. Have you done any films here? Well, we've done a few. Um, part of my family's in the movie business and they've come out and done some film. We've also used it for a lot of still photography. This is a great backyard adobe. Can we see inside? Absolutely. When we built this adobe, we set it up so we could do both interiors and exteriors. Would you like to see the inside? Yeah. those gun shuttles. You notice it's a lot cooler in here in the summer, but in the winter, you get that fire going, it can get downright toasty. Well, Bart Slade, this is really neat. I appreciate you showing me around your backyard adobe. Well, I'm glad you came by, but you don't have to leave right away. If we got a fire going, you'd see just how cozy it can be in here. Nothing better than kicking up your boots and enjoying a nice fight. People might be asking, why would you build something like this? Well, there's a lot of people ask me that. The way I look at it, it's like Southwestern art. And if people can't understand art, I can't help them. Hi, we're here in Glendale, California, checking out some backyard adobe. Hello, the chef. Hey, Augie, come on in. Have a seat. What you been up to? 
Well, I've been doing interviews on people in the backyard Adobe, and I figured I might pass by and see yours. You know what? I love backyard Adobe. I've actually been looking at this book about Alamo Village in Brackettville, Texas, and they built Adobe bricks for three years before they had enough to build the fort and the Alamo Village surrounding John Wayne's Alamo. Yes, that's a lot of time. Yeah, it is. This is a nice shack you have here. Thanks. Well, if you like this shack, wait till you check out my backyard Adobe. Now, it's pretty dry back there. So maybe we should have a drink before heading back. Let's toast to the success of your new documentary. Open the teeth, pass the gums, and watch out, Billy, here it comes. Well, Augie, what we have here, these two forms, these bricks have been drying for quite a while. So it should come out of this form pretty easy. Yeah, just kind of shake it around and lift her off. So that one's out. So this is one of our Adobe forms. And they're about 8 by 16. These are the bricks we do. Well, this rain really did some damage. Yeah, we used to have a wall up to here with a window in it. Then we had all those really hard rains. The upper bricks get real heavy, and then you get a strong wind, or we are in California, an earthquake. The dough becomes tumbling down. So we got, we got some drying, bricks drying here, and we got our work cut out for us. But you know what we're gonna do? And we're gonna we'll, uh, mix up a batch of mud, get these bricks all set, and then uh, see where we're at from there. How's that sound? That sounds good. You wanna see the other part of the adobe? We got a little tower going on? Yeah, sure. All right, let's check that out. And you pack a little bit in the outside, a little bit more in the outside here than you do the inside, and it brings these bricks around like a curve. How's the view up there, Augie? Oh, it's good. You can see all over. Wow, this is pretty neat for Southern California. I'm just making some uh, adobe bricks using this dirt here. What you got in the bucket? I've got a nice mixture of mud, straw, and caliche. Kind of dirt, but like rock. Oh, and water. Too much. Mm. It's not like this in Texas. You need a lot more water here. You have to mix it up real good. Oh yeah. Make sure everything's nice and wet. That way it'll sit in the mold. Well, you make adobe in Texas. It's not this dry. You use more water or? No, we use a little bit less water than here. How much do you use for a bucket? Uh, probably like an inch high and then in a bucket this big. Uh -huh. You're English. Do they make adobe in England? No. You know what? It's far too wet. It all turns to mud. It only really works in the southwest here in Southern California where it's enough uh, dryness so that the 
Walls don't get wet and fall over again. Is it ready? Yeah. Let's try and pull one in the form there. Are you going to do it? What? Oi. Maybe I'll pull the first car. And then you can get the second. Get it in the corners. Maybe we'll need to make a little bit more. I think so too. Here, will you hold that for me? Yeah. Thanks. You need quite a lot, huh? Yeah, now we'll get some of this. I guess it's kind of like as much water in Texas. Well, I don't think this is going to make us very much. Yeah, We're only probably only going to make half of it. Half We've got a half going on here. But our buckets are kind of small. Oh, you have bigger buckets in Texas? I like it to be a little bit dry. Yeah, so in Texas, some days when it's really dry, like 110 or something. Usually we don't go out that time, but like 106. I like to build archways uh, it, where the walls support the structure of the ceiling and what's called a Nubian arch. If I had a chain in between my hands, pulled taut, and then I went like that, the chain would go down in a nice curve. And it's the same thing. Each brick holds the other one up and you don't need any wood to make the roof or anything, so it supports itself. Then you make a whole barrow of them kind of like an underground cellar. Wow, you really made adobe making into a science. I think that'll be enough to finish that brick off. Yep. That's a perfect amount. You can take the bond with this. Mm-hmm. There, would you pull the rest of that in there? Excellent. Put it in the corners. That's going to be a nice brick. For my Boy Scout adventure, I'm doing a documentary about Adobe. No, 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 that's the whole rest of the rocked out. See, how long is it going to take you to fill that again? Can you dig that? Uh, I don't know, I think they ate my dad. bucket, guys. We got two of this bucket. We're going to get it out. Oh, that's one. Uh, so what can that's, I do? Oh, It'll yeah. get mushed down. It'll be harder oh, to get. Oh, it's coming through. Use this one here. Really? Use that one not for a uh, mixing but just storage. Put a bucket right here. Because we're going to come out with big loads. Yeah, since we don't have another storage module. Okay. Auntie! 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 Hey Alex, can I use your shovel? This, your shovel, this one? Hey Alex, is this one good? Yes, yeah, I need a shovel, fuck it! Can we 
First Adobe we built, and all I can think is it must have been attacked by cannon fire. So what we're doing here is just mixed up a whole bucket of mud, and I put this brick down. And I'm making room for another one here. We want to make the walls nice and thick, Augie. But then we don't have problems with it. There's plenty of mortar here. It's got some grass mixed in it. We do. We've got a brick that's been drying. Smack it down. Settle it in. This is adobe. And then we gotta we gotta tuck the adobe between the bricks, and that sticks them all together real nice. Then we slap some mud up here. We want to fill in all these cracks. We gotta kind of slap it in there. That'll dry up real nice. Right here. We're going to fill in back here with some of our, our broken adobe pieces, and that'll bring the wall up another tier. We've got a nice mix of leaves and dirt mixed together to make a nice mortar.
Trying to get a wall. Ah, nothing better than backyard goat. How long did this all take? Well, it took quite a few years on and off. I like coming back here with family and friends and we'll sit around the fire pit or I've done some photo shoots and some auditions up at the Adobe. And actually later this week, I'm gonna have to clean it up. We got a little movie shoot going on. This is really neat. Thank you for showing me your backyard Adobe in Glendale, California. Hi. We're here in the owners of Adobe in Los Angeles, and I was bought in 1818 by Don Francisco Algea. Original sign said Kit Carson spent the night there also, right. but I don't know why they took that out. He was married to a lot, several Indian women, and, yep. he, and um, the last one was a Mexican woman. Okay. I didn't know that about Kit Carson. Yeah. A, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of history that happened here around LA and Los Angeles. Yeah. And when they were trying to uh, take it away from Mexico, that president, I can't think of the president, said Fremont. Well, you see, son, one of the important things to remember about adobe is it tends to erode from the base up. So when you're building adobe, you want to make sure you've got a good, solid foundation. If it erodes from the base up, the walls are going to cave in. But if you have a good foundation, it'll last a long time. Wow, that's pretty neat. How long does it take for an adobe brick to dry? It can take up to three weeks to dry properly. Now you can rush it, but your adobe is not going to be of the same quality. What if it rains? Then it takes a little longer to dry. My favorite part about building adobe is probably making the bricks. Well, you know, with building adobe, as with so many things in life, many times it's the anticipation that, out, that outshadows the uh, actual event. While we were building this adobe, we would put, put up about four courses a day, and then we'd take the weekends off. But every time we, we added another course, you could begin to see the shape of the building. And that was, that was the anticipation part. This is the final result. <laughs> some good sarsaparilla. 